So this is the perfect Peony card making set on the DVD. This is kit number nine. And as you can see, it's a real nice um, dimensional floral kit. This is probably one of my favorites on issue number six. And it has a, an array of different sentiments that can be used. So I think this one, um, I've put a generic with love on there because I'm going to use this card for Mother's Day, I think. So what I need to do, first of all then, is show you the sheets and show you exactly what you're getting in this kit. So these are the sheets for kit number nine, which is called the Perfect Peonies. And as you can see, it's got some beautiful sort of pinky um, peony flowers, which are quite sort of vintage styled and just absolutely beautiful. Now, obviously we always try and put, you know, one kind of florally um, styled card on the Creative Magazine so that you've got a nice range across the board with all 10 kits to, uh, to send to almost anybody really, so regardless. So this is a really nice, um, beautiful card kit that can be used for birthdays, for anniversaries, for get well soon. There's a retirement one on there too, and one that just says with love on just for you. So it can really be used as an all occasion kind of card. So again, all I need to do is to cut out all the pieces and then I'll be right back. All my pieces are now cut out and I've gone round the edges with a pink distressing pen just to hide those white edges so I'm all ready to begin the construction. Now I was having a look at the card itself and <coughs> oh, excuse me oh, must be the pollen from the flowers. Um, I've gone through and looked at the images and I thought now what colour is going to be the best for a card base on this one. So I've actually gone for a cream card base because I think white would have been just a little bit too stark for it. And that just warms up the outside of the, the card and just makes it a little bit more mellow because you've also got the cream in the flowers too. So that kind of ties in and makes it look really, really nice. Now for speed and to make it a bit easier to, to watch. I've already gone through and added the foam pads onto the backs of all of my decoupage layers. Now this is probably the most complicated one to do. Now I actually sat and did this while I was watching TV and it didn't really take that long and although it can be quite intricate, it, it if, as long as you take your time with it and don't try and rush it, but when all said and done, and this is the key, if you do make a mess of it, don't worry, because you've got the main image there, you don't really need to cut all this out as it is, if you don't want to. If you don't feel that like your hand is steady enough, then don't beat yourself up about it. Just use the smaller ones and you'll still get that kind of depth and dimension. But if you want to have a go at it and you do, you know, make a mistake with it and, and all the rest of it, don't worry, because when all said and done, it is just a piece of paper. Nobody's going to get hurt if it goes wrong. So and that's the only thing that you have to <laughs> you have to consider. Uh, and you know, if you do want to do it all and you do make a mistake, then just print that sheet out again. You have the original file, so don't worry too much. Okay, so let's start off with the construction of the card. Then. So I'm just going to move my bits and pieces to one side, and then we can bring in our backing topper, our main topper and our card blank. So let's get that stuck down first of all and then we can concentrate on building the layers up on our card. So hopefully I have got enough glue left to finish this and the final card in the, uh, in the set. I'm hoping it will hold out. And then let's just drop that down so that we can get it equal distant. And we have a little bit of time before it grabs fully, just to make sure we have that nicely centered on the front of our card. And again, let's get the insert panel stuck down and out the way. 
so that we don't forget. <coughs> oh dear. Definitely hay fever time, isn't it? Okay, so the insert panel. Now there is a right and a wrong way for this one. Obviously the stems of the flowers want to be going down. So just keep that in mind when you're sticking your panels down. Okay, so that's the insert panel sorted. And then we just have our main panel to go down. And hopefully there's enough glue left in the pot. Oh yes. Plenty, plenty. So let's get that turned over. I like this glue because if you get it in your hands, you can just rub it off. Yeah, let's line that up with our cutting mat. So uh, we use that as a gauge on the lines to make sure that we've got that as we can. Yeah, I think that's about right. But if we wanted to, we can just twist that slightly. I think actually just doing it slightly at an angle like that adds a bit more interest to the card. Yeah, I think that's just about right. And that's the beauty of using the wet glue because you've got that wiggle room to be able to just maneuver it until you're happy. Okay, so we also have a beautiful kind of ribbon strip that goes across the bottom of the card. Now for this, because I know I'm running out of glue, I'm just going to position that with a tape runner. Now I know this is going to be straight, so I'm just going to do that so it lines up with the bottom and that before I push down, line that up. Yep, I think we're pretty much straight. I've got that just so the bottom of the ribbon is just on the same level as the bottom of the main panel. So I'm just going to give that a rub and stick that down. And then I have my 3D bow. So I'm just going to take the backs off of the foam pads on there. only takes a few seconds and then we just drop that onto our ribbon and then just lay it flat and then the foam pads will take over and again you can just push that down just to give it a nice little domed effect or you can just give it a little bit of a, of a shape with the bone folder before you start. There you go. So that looks nice. So we then have our main layer. Now, of course, this is going to come up and over. I think I probably shouldn't have stuck that down just there. Now we'll have to adjust. See, I've made the choice not to stick that down so what I can do is if I just lay that where it is and all I have to do then is just remove that bottom part and I can tuck the rest underneath so I probably just need to snip off that piece and that piece of the card and then everything else will just fall exactly as it's supposed to maybe just tuck that underneath a little bit yeah. Now that actually looks really nice. Now I you could choose to tuck that underneath if you want to. Or leave it coming over the top. Now I think coming over the top makes it look a bit more realistic. Gives it that much more depth because it's coming over the top of the bow. Which I think is really sweet. So that's what we'll do. Again, just 
root backs of our film pads and I've just used smaller pads on the leaves and larger ones on the actual blooms themselves because you don't really need lots of little mini ones on there which is why it's always a good idea to have more than one size now I'm just going to bring that in and line the flowers up because they're the most important thing to get lined up push down on the rest and if you do make a little bit of a mistake not too bad because you can just lift it up it doesn't grab straight away yeah. that gives it a little bit more realism okay so we can now add the rest of our flower layers so this one goes on top of there lay it down and this one goes on top of that one so you've actually got three layers on this one the foam pad doesn't want to come off there it is so again line it up lay it down give it a push and because i've placed all the foam pads in the same place on the back then that is pretty much as stable as it's going to get that's my pressure point so I know that if it does get sent through the post that there won't be an issue with it getting squashed. And then we can lay our last one, same again, pads all in the same place and there you go. So all I have to do with this now is just to add in my sentiment. Now I've chosen one that just says with love because Mother's Day is early this year and I need a card to send to my mother so I'm going to use this one so I'll put this to one side and I'll keep that for Mother's Day. <laughs> 